up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace honey and today it's time for another underrated versus overrated so i got a few products here to talk about i don't know why i looked on that side thing on this side but um, i got a few products to talk about with y'all that i want to share so without further ado let's get into it girl so i actually have a couple of face products to talk about so the first underrated versus overrated shout out to my girl it's glam exo beauty on instagram and lemonade if you um use that she was talking about how this um cheap kiss cream bronzer from milani was really similar to the abh cream bronzer so i have the shades mocha moment and chestnut I feel like these are actually both pretty comparable and pretty similar. I did a um, wear test and comparison. You all have not, you all should have seen by now on them. But I was shocked that Milani had a deep enough bronzer personally because I feel like a lot of times they don't necessarily cater to the darker end of the spectrum in my personal opinion. So I was shocked to find one that matched me and then the fact that it was just as good a quality as the ABH one. Because if you all know, I haven't been buying from ABH in a while. I really liked this bronzer and their concealer though. So I'm... Mm. Glad I found a dupe to their bronze at a reasonable price because this is only $12.99 at Ulta and it might be cheaper at CVS or at Walmart or Target, somewhere like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely a great alternative to this one. Now, uh, there's, of course, there's going to be more product in here than in here. This is only 0.21 ounces, whereas this is one ounce. So the difference is bigger, but it's like you can get two of these for the price of one of these. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So I figured I would throw it out there and share it because I know everybody didn't follow it. It's Glam XO Beauty. I told y'all to follow her though because I think she does dupes every now and again like I do. And I felt like that was a good person for you to look to. So next we have, quite I left the other thing in the bathroom. So this dupe, I'm actually carrying it on my face right now. This is Unread vs. Overrated. So of course I have the Elf Camel Liquid Blushes up against the Rare Beauty one. So I um, am wearing both of them right now. You can see for yourself each side that we're working with here, whatever. So I set both of them with Elf um, Primer Infused Blushes. The powder ones just to uh, see how they would wear. But I think this is a good alternative for people who uh, don't want to spend a high price tag that comes with Rare Beauty. Not that Rare Beauty is super high, but it's like if I can get one for $7 and these are like, are they like 18 to 20 bucks, then you can buy like, again, two of these for the price of one of these. So the drugstore is definitely trying to hit it out the park with all these dupe for all these higher end products to keep themselves um, in the loop and up in their quality, which I'm definitely appreciating it because the drugstore just seems to be getting better, better, better. However, the price point is getting higher and higher and higher too. So the fact that Elf could do these for $7 at such a great affordable price point, I'm definitely loving it. I actually plan on buying another one of these pretty soon. I have the shade coming in pink in my cart along with those cloud plumping lips sticks that they got that are supposed to be dupes for the tart stuff. So I'll be doing a video on all those type of products in the future. But for right now, I just kind of stuck with this one shade just to feel out and see how the formula was and the formula is definitely really nice it blends out just as nice and easily as the rare beauty one and it starts off just as pigmented as the rare beauty one so i would definitely recommend you try these out if you're on the more affordable in the spectrum don't want to spend some high coins on this but i do like the color range in the rare beauty one as well so i'm interested to see in the future how the color range is going to work with these um sorry with these elf ones i'm gonna put it back in the bag because i got a future video i need to do for that too because y'all know me i always got some ideas some videos so i have to take that back in the bag but yeah i definitely want to shout those out too as if you all didn't already know about them you already knew but you know what i'm saying like i just want to shout them out the next one i have to talk about though i don't know if you necessarily knew about this one it's underrated versus over it so this is not natasha denova's um gorgeous scarab liquid eyeshadow y'all know this is one of my favorite eyeshadows to use and i found this one from Wasabi from Juvia's Place and their Culture Liquid Eyeliner Eyeshadow Collection. So I had to go ahead and pick it up because as soon as I saw the color, I was like, that looks really similar to Scarborough from Juvia's Place. I mean, from um, Natasha. And as you can see, the colors look like identical pretty much in the jar. Like, look at that. They look so similar. So I was watching the back of my hand so you can see how similar it is to Natasha's because Natasha's goes in and out of stock and Natasha's is $23 and we all know Julia's Place is more affordable and I caught these on sale on top of that and you can always use someone's code if you don't catch them on sale and it still be more reasonable than Natasha's and I think you get more product in this than Natasha's if I remember correctly though. We about to look now. But see, look at this. I mean, they look... I turn my hand sideways. They're giving the same color shift. I feel like the Juvia's Place is giving a stronger shift of blue than the 
Natasha one is, believe it or not. And then when you turn them forward, they look like the exact same shade. So this is definitely a good alternative to this one. And this one, um, as you can see, it looks smaller. So I feel like it has less product in it. This has 0 0.08 ounces. And the Juvia's plate. Oh, so they both have the same amount of product. So they both have the same amount of product. They both ship the same color. And the Juvia's place one is going to be less. Uh, obviously, we know which one you need to choose. You need to choose Juvia's place because you can get it at a discount. This is $23. I think these might be like $16 or something. And you might want to wait till they come to Ulta and give you an even better deal. If that's the only thing you're necessarily interested in. Because you can add some other drugstore things to your cart. And get you a good deal, girl. Yes, when I saw this, I was like, yes, I need it. Yes, I have to have it. Yes, it's the exact same color at a more reasonable price. Say less, say less, say less. So now let's get into the eyeshadow palette portion of this video. Because y'all know this video is mainly surrounded around eyeshadow palettes. But I get excited when I find other things that I don't, you know, necessarily have. Wait, no, I did have one more, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't want to necessarily say it's guaranteed as they do. So we'll just do these eyeshadow palettes for now. Okay, so first, Underrated versus Overrated. I have the Silent Night Palette from Dudes Like Bunny and Gourmand Girls. Yes, honey. I have it. So I feel like initially I didn't notice this dupe. But then when I was going through my stuff, I was like, wait, that looks really similar to that. So that's why I go through my collection pretty often. So I can give y'all these videos. Plus, I have a new series on my shorts where I show y'all palettes that um, have come out that I said were dupes for stuff. And then I found dupes later on my collection further down the road because I didn't get enough time to dig before I did the video to show you. But yeah, here's what they look like side by side. As you can see, they have pretty similar colors in it. They have those same blues. You have the gold. You have the brown. Only thing that's not in this palette that's in the um, Pat grass one is the purple. Like that purple shade right there. Everything else I feel like looks really similar in my first opinion. So that's why I was like, I can definitely show these side by side and people can see because it has the gold shade right there. It has the browns. It has the um, black. I think it actually does have the gray as well. I think the only thing it doesn't have is the champagne shade. Yeah, because they used a matte instead of a sh um, shimmery champagne. But the matte shade looks really similar to the sh shimmery champagne in my personal opinion. So I'm just over here like, yes. And if you... I need to stop digging into that shade, but it's classic. But um, yeah, if you did not get a chance to get your hands on the... What is it? Dark Star quad. This might be a good alternative for you. Plus, I think Gourmand Girls has a lovely formula. And I just love Blues by the Bunny's design, so everything she comes out with, I have to have. So that's my first set. Next, we have Underrated vs. Overrated. This is the Witching Hour palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. And then the, another Blues by the Bunny palette, this is the Element of Evil from Blues by the Bunny and Sugar Girls. So I have done a couple of eye looks with this. You all have not seen. I mean, you all have seen them in YouTube videos, but you have not like seen the actual pictures on Instagram yet. I've just been lazy and posted them. Sorry, but I feel like this is definitely a good alternative to this palette. If you a person who may focus about the greens and the oranges, because if I cover up this, it's pretty much the same palette. It just doesn't have like the pink and purple effect to it. And obviously the black isn't in that one, but I feel like otherwise they give a good amount of the similar shades. And if you're not concerned about having that row, then this palette would be work great for you. Believe it or not, this black with the shimmer that actually is a very pigmented black. I ended up using it and I realized that it had the shimmers in it. And the shimmers dissipated and it actually gave me a really, really nice look. So I was thoroughly impressed. The dual chromes and multi chromes in here are very nice and shift to gorgeous colors. So I definitely recommend this one if you were not necessarily um wanting to um well if you missed out on this one basically because this one is a um palette that came out with a while ago and they never came out with again so this would be a good alternative for you the only thing is i feel like this is limited edition too obviously because it's halloween so i don't know that you'll you know necessarily be able to grab that for too much longer but i figured you know since it's out now while i'm making this video hopefully still that you should be able to get it so Next one, I can't remember if I showed this one or not, so my apologies if I did and I just forgot. But next, underrated versus overrated, I have the Ambiance palette from Ace Butte up against the Harvest Moon. My girl, um, Dion Loves Makeup did a video on this palette recently. Well, I said I said her experience with the brand when she bought that palette. 
I'll try to remember to link it down below for you all to go check out. It's very informative for people who have sensitive eyelids like Dion does. So it might be helpful to you. But this is what both the palettes look like. And as you can see, they're giving quite similar color story. I feel like this is like um, a good alternative to Good Sport as well by Colourpop if you are interested. But it's also giving the vibes of this palette. So I want to show both of them side by side and see. I think I put this in a um black girl friendly version of cult classic products or something like that just because it has like some colorful matte to it as well as um some nice shimmer shades i know this one has more multi chrome so if you're into more dual chrome to multi chrome i feel like you'd like this one better but if you're into a simple shimmer metallic or a nice fall palette i feel like the ace Bute one would be good for you you can use my girl karen harris's code that's cage makeup i believe at ace Bute. you can use her code cage makeup at Inley brain as well but yeah, so those are two good palettes. Okay, it's only a couple more left, y'all. I swear, I swear. The sun is getting on my nerves on my face, y'all. So I'm going to take a lunch break. And then hopefully we'll have gone down far enough till it's not at this weird angle set now. But it's like I'm trying to get stuff done before I need. So, you know, got to do what you got to do, girl. Um, but next, I underwear versus overrated. I have the What's Up? Geo, what's up beauty geodes palette up against the unearthly cosmetics fairy frolic palette I, I feel like this would be a good one for another series that i have that i'm going to start i don't know when this video is going to go up so i don't want to necessarily talk about it because i haven't revealed what it is yet so yeah so here's what both of them look like side by side as you can see this color story and this color story look pretty similar i feel like if anything this is a muted version of this palette if you will because it doesn't have the bright mattes that go with it it just has like a lot of bright shimmers and maybe like one bright matte that bright yellow that matches this yellow but otherwise i feel like it's just like a more muted version of this palette right here but you know they're both cute and it depends on which one you like which one you would prefer so i want to show both so you can see and get your own opinion on which one you prefer i like the formula of this one i hear the formula on the new one is even better and i thought the formula of this one was better than the very first one they came out with so i'm interested to see what else they come out with in 2024 i know 2023 they came up with the dragon one i think that's when it came out don't quote me but i feel like that's when it came out so yeah and then the last one i have to talk about unfortunately they don't make it anymore but i feel like to save you some money if you already own it or you can find it on macari that maybe i should just show it as opposed to this bigger one especially because like i said i'm not supporting this brand i said at the beginning so you should already know what i'm talking about this is the abh pro pigment palette volume 5 the norvina volume 5 and this is the cleo what cleonic not cleonic jesus um kaleidos i don't know why lately it's so hard for me to say kale Cleodic Cosmetics um, Futurism Lunar Lavender Palette. Kaleidos. Yeah, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say Kaleidos lately, but I swear, y'all, when I be doing videos on them, it'd be. It's like I be tongue dry. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like this, again, is just a muted version of this because you don't get as many colors and you get a few more colors in here than you do in here. But I feel like they're giving the same vibes when it comes to the colors that they're giving off so if you can find this one on macari or cheaper i would say get it over this one because some people don't like having really big palettes so that's why i want to acknowledge this one as far as this one goes as well only unfortunate thing is they don't sell these anymore so it's like you have to buy them somebody macari or poshmark or somewhere like that in order to get the product but this is what both of them look like and as you can see the color stores are both quite similar but those are all the palettes I had to talk about today's underrated versus overrated. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye. And make sure you subscribe.